Hello student, today we are going to talk about Form 5, Chapter 2 about nutrition. So basically in this chapter, we are going to learn about the food that we eat, the calculation of calorie, and what are the things that we are supposed to eat in diet, and what are the, um, the things that will cause disease if we lack of certain nutrients. So basically this, I would say among the Form 4 and Form 5 science, this chapter will help a lot in our daily life because we really need to know what we should eat. And if we are sick or, or let's say we have fever or we have constipation, means we got stomach ache, and what's the thing that we really need to eat? So we need to have a balanced diet. So this is the few category of um, a balanced diet. This will be just a base, just the basic and for the next coming video, we are going to go into details about the example of food and the disease that will be caused if we are lack of the certain amount of that food. So basically, the first one is carbohydrate. Basically, this, all these things you already learned in Form 2 and also in primary school. Okay, Carbohydrate to produce energy like bread, like rice, protein. Still remember, in I think from, from two chapter two, uh, from two about nutrition, okay, protein is to build new cell, it's also for growth or for uh, re to repair damaged tissue. For example, the question might ask, um, what are the functions of protein to mark? So, for, so you can say it's to, for the building of new cell of growth. Another one is to repair uh, damaged tissue. Okay, vitamin to protect body from disease and we have a lot of vitamin. We are going to that in the next in the next few video. A, B, C, D, E and vitamin K. And we need mineral salts, okay, to maintain body health. We need water to help the digestion of uh, food. Actually, basically it's our blood, okay. Our blood can um, for the digestion of blood, for the transportation of nutrient and transportation of oxygen and carbon dioxide. We also have um, fat, okay, to supply energy. So basically fat and carbohydrate is almost the same. Both are to supply energy. But we are going to learn more into this that actually fat, it will supply more energy compared to um, Carbohydrate, fat will supply um, almost can be say double portion of energy as compared to carbohydrate. So there are a few terms that we need to understand. For example, um, carbohydrate sometimes uh, the science term they like to refer as glucose. And then for protein, if they don't say protein, sometimes they use the word like um, amino acid. But amino acid is also protein. Protein is amino acid is the same depending on the question. And fat, sometimes the question won't say it is a fat, sometimes the question will refer as fatty acid or glycerol. But it's still, still the same, it's still fat. So these are the few terms that we need to understand. Um, let's try, maybe one more question like, what the disease that will be caused if a person is lack of protein? Okay, let's say a person is lack of protein, what it will cause? So it will cause a disease such as Kwashiorkor, okay? So this should be your answer. So if you really didn't write this, you will get zero mark. If you get write this, you will get one mark for this. Basically, they will always ask the same thing, okay? What is the function? What is the, uh, what is the effect if you don't have enough protein? Basically, they won't ask what is the function of carbohydrate. They might, but they seldom ask. Usually, they will ask about protein and vitamin that we are going to go into, into more in depth later. So basically, that's it. Um, thank you for today's video.